Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is October 1st already. What the heck? How did that happen? But when we look at things, we just had a quarterly stock number out yesterday. And big thing there, we did see some change out of corn. That's the biggest surprise. About a 300 million bushel decline from what the trade was expecting. Uh, And that's got corn on edge, and that's going to keep things extremely volatile here today. But not only that, what are we doing right now with China? How is that going to progress as we go through this week? And so with that, will we get export sales, uh, further export sales announced? Uh, There's talks that we're going to see 1 to 1.5 million metric tons of beans sold before next week's meeting between the U.S. and China again, and we get our delegates together uh, and discuss this trade issue. So something to certainly keep on mind. Uh, Really no threatening weather here as of yet uh, in in the forecast. And so that has got kind of everything on the back burner there. But where do we go? December corn's got a gap in a chart up around 392 and three quarters. The beans have the 200-day moving average sitting right around 911, and then good resistance up again between 920 to 930, just as we have support now at $9 in the beans. And for corn, we've got to stay above 377. So we'll see what this does as we progress throughout the day today. The wheat market going to remain very choppy. No major surprises on that report yesterday. So we'll keep that in mind as we move forward, too. But uh, on edge uh, will be what happens on in the news and uh, keep an eye on Twitter. And we'll see how things progress. But you guys have a great day today. Give us a shout if you have any questions whatsoever. And we'll be talking to you soon. Take care.